Bust my butt. I swear, I hate, I hate being like this. Okay, I'm back on the seat. I'm just going to have to haul it bigger than doo doo anyway I got it <laughs> I wonder where that other piece I wonder if that's a lot more stuck in the ground there because <clears throat> this is the piece that run up the pole anyhow in my pocket
I don't usually come down this road, but I seen that can there heaping full of something, so I'm gonna check it out. That guy's got a Model A Ford sitting in his driveway. And I would expect that's about a 30, 31, 32, somewhere in there. 1930, 1932, something like that. But it looks like I'm just wasting my time. Yeah. Nothing. Well, I'm already down here, so I'm gonna go check these other boxes. You never know. Nothing. Yeah, I think that Ford is a. I think it's a. I know it's a model, but I'm thinking it's a 31, 32. He's not got a tag on that. That sounds like my little baby barking, but I, I know her bark, but her bark's like that. God, I wish she was home. I kind of get her off my mind, then I think about her, you know, I hear that one. Boo Boo sure like to bark when she's seen something. It's kind of my fault. Because I didn't, I, I need to fix that gate where she couldn't get out and I kept putting it on, putting it off. Usually when I'm out in the yard, she don't leave. But I was out there and she sure left that time. I'm thinking she got out there on the street and somebody seen her and we don't put a collar on her. She's got a chip in her, but if they ever take her to a vet, I think vets always scan pets now. If they ever take her to a vet, they're gonna know right quick who it belongs to. I just had to start thinking about her again. That gun it. It's my fault. Two nights now my baby ain't been able to I'm dropping part of my load here and I gotta I gotta put this down there where it'll stay. I got a load. Have I dropped cord there? I sure have. Holy sh Look at that. I have dropped my cable here. I didn't know I had that much. Oh boy, hold on. That gunk. You know what, I'm gonna You know, this stuff is so heavy. That's going in there. Yep, I dropped. That going it. Yeah, that's probably five pounds. This is right where I got this. Ten bucks. Ten. 
We'll put that green in there too. I'm so glad I come back this way. What about that? I, I, this little car, it's not even a car, it's, it's a scooter, you know, it's a handicapped scooter. It's not made for this. The BA won't pop for me one of them big ones. If I had one of them big ones, I wouldn't have to worry about whether my driver's license got renewed or not. And it's not illegal to run up and down the streets in the neighborhood with it. Plus, it'll pull a little wagon. It's a 500 amp motor. <sighs> Gosh. And you know what? I've been trying and trying and trying to get that PayPal donate button on my channel. Cause I got people that's wanting to help me get it. And I look at these channel, these YouTube videos that tells you how to do it, but I just can't get my head right to start with. I don't hear, when I hear stuff, I may be understanding what they're saying and I may not. So, I'm wondering if I could go down to You know what? I may go to one of the te teachers at the computer classes at the high school and see if they know how to do that for me and see if they would do it for me. Because they know a lot of stuff, you know. They're teaching all different kind of programs and stuff. Anyhow, now, let me go again, oh boy, there we go, now, I can go, I think I, you know what, <laughs> no, I'm fixing to run off and leave something else, that gone it. Fix and leave that piece. Now, I can ride like that, maybe. <sighs> Thank you, my friend. His wife ain't back yet. I want to talk to her. That's that beautiful staghorn. I'll tell you what's the truth. That thing is so. So gorgeous. I don't know why I like it, but look at that. That thing is huge. Now we're up under it. Now look at this. Can you see all that? Look at all them pups coming off of there. I wonder if she'd give me a pup. That's what they call the new, new ones that grows off of the pups. Dang, that thing's beautiful. Lisa, my hat is off to you, girl. Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. That thing is gorgeous. Just fantastic. She does such a good job on this yard. She sure does. Now there's another one around here. Same thing, but I don't know him. I've talked to him, but I don't know his name or anything. But he was out there one day and I said, sir, who takes care of your yard? And he said, me. And I complimented him on it. I should have stopped and got his name. 
but I didn't. I'll show you the yard over here again. Uh, I need a I need a coffee cup with a lid. That gun. I got some, but they're them huge things that you can't fit in the cup holder. See, I can fit that one in there, but I don't have a lid for it. I really like this cup because I guess it's stainless steel. I don't know, but that coffee, if I'd left it right there, I could come back four hours from now and it'd still be warm. And at night, when I'm sitting on the computer working, uh, I'll have ice and, and root beer and diet root beer. And the next morning when I get up, it's still sitting there with ice in it. So it's got good insulation qualities about it iron, which is odd to me because that thing is still stainless steel. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm happy with my little copper hall. I'm gonna have to get all this copper process and I need to put some more money in my fund for uh, uh, for my, uh, I wonder what that guy does. That's a nice trailer. Nice pickup. Dodge Ram. I love them Rams. Love them. I've always been a Dodge person except, well, the first car I ever, let's see. Yeah, the first car, no, the first car I ever owned was a 47 Chevrolet Coupe second car I owned was a 53 Dodge Coronet which was fairly new when I got it now see this guy's yard how pretty it is look he's just got it so trimmed and neat just beautiful that takes some time but that second car was a Dodge Coronet uh, third car that I owned was a 47 Dodge that I bought in 1965 or 66 and it only had 55,000 original miles on it belonged to a banker and the furthest he ever drove it away from his house was two miles and that was down to the bank and back home and dumb me I decided I wanted a later model so I traded that in for a 55 Dodge Blue and it was raggedy. It wasn't in excellent shape. It wasn't in good shape. But I, I had a 47, but I wanted a later model, so I got that 55 Dodge. Next one I got was a 57 Buick. And after that, I think I'm, I don't know in what order I got these, I can't remember, but I had a Volkswagen 62. I had a 64 Dodge Dart that I loved. That thing, it was straight shift, slant six. I put not a hundred thousand, but hundreds of thousand miles on it same engine it was so easy to work on i i never had to take it anywhere i could do the brakes i could put on new carburetors fuel pumps i could do the spark plug and wires timing the whole nine yards i could do with that thing And I got sideswiped one time by a school bus. <laughs> 